In the early 2000s, the U.S. Air Force was looking to upgrade its fleet of F-22 Raptor fighters, considered the most advanced fighter in the world. The Air Force has identified a number of potential upgrades for the F-22 to enhance its capabilities and ensure it continues to dominate the skies. One of the most promising upgrades is the addition of enhanced propulsion, allowing the F-22 to fly faster and higher than ever before. The Air Force believes this upgrade will give the F-22 an unparalleled advantage over any other fighter in the world. However, the development of the F-22 booster proved to be a difficult task, with many technical and logistical challenges to overcome. Despite these obstacles, the Air Force remained committed to the project and poured billions of dollars into research and development. Finally, after years of work, the F-22 booster is ready for testing. But just as the Air Force was about to conduct a series of test flights to evaluate the new engine, disaster struck. A catastrophic accident occurred during the final pre-flight engine checkup, severely damaging the test aircraft and putting the entire project in jeopardy. After the crash, the Air Force was forced to re-evaluate its plans for the F-22. However, despite the failure, the project showed the incredible potential of American engineering and innovation. And though the enhanced F the 22nd of May never take off, its legacy lives on as a testament to the enduring spirit of American ingenuity. Lockheed Martin's F-22 Raptor remains the most powerful air superiority fighter in the skies today, and its enormous success has led some in the U.S. defense apparatus to call for a massive version. Stealth aircraft to serve as a highly survivable medium-range fighter, bomber. Dot. The effort, dubbed the FB-22, is said to have gained the backing of Air Force Secretary James Roche among others, before eventually being scrapped in favor of other bomber options. In fact, the discussion of the FB the 22nd of May have helped get the B-21 Raider off the drawing board and into active development. If it goes into production, the FB-22 could be the most stealthy fighter bomber on the planet and the only supersonic stealth bomber ever to enter service for any country. But perhaps it would be more appropriate to consider it as a stealthy replacement for the F-15E Strike Eagle. The birth of the F-22 was a turning point in military aviation. The development of the F-22 Raptor really began in 1981, when the U.S. Air Force first identified the urgent need to equip a more advanced fighter to effectively deal with the Surgeon. Minus 27 Flanker and new Soviet MiG-29 Fulcrum. Although we recognize today that the Soviet Union is only about a decade away from collapse, the communist nation remains a potential threat, both literally and perceived in the defense community. At that time, with the stated aim of offsetting any potential Soviet advantage afforded by their new, highly capable fighters, the Air Force took seriously the aircraft program. It's advanced tactical combat. No matter what kind of fighter you prefer, there's no denying that the F-22 Raptor has ushered military aviation into a new era. The new jet could keep up with the MiG-29 and Su-27 in a drag race and provide the same thrust vector acrobatic capabilities, but it completely outperformed the Soviet opponent in terms of capability. Survivability. The F-22 Raptor doesn't even need to prove that it can fly alongside MiGs and flankers thanks to its extremely small radar cross-section and limited infrared detection capabilities. In other words, the Raptor could destroy the best Soviet fighters in the world before they knew it was there. Why turn the F-22 into an FB-22 fighter, bomber? Modern fighters are said to be able to do anything you ask them to, whether that means engaging enemy aircraft traveling at over a thousand miles per hour or dropping bombs on enemies. Bad at 30,000 feet, but most are tailored for a set-specific mission. The F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, for example, are primarily focused on aerial engagements, and so their standard weapons and avionics reflect that. However, the F-22 belongs to a different family of aircraft. As a replacement for the invincible air superiority champion, the F-15 Eagle, the F-22 Raptor was built to take on the enemy's highly capable fighters in the air. Sky. But with the F-35 still years away and the world's first operational stealth aircraft, the F-117 Nighthawk, being retired by the time the F-22 arrives, the Air Force there is a need for a deep penetration attack aircraft. That can do things that even the extremely, according to the same CRS report, 
The potential speed of the FB22 is also an important factor to consider. Today, like in the early 2000s, the U.S. Air Force operates only one supersonic bomber, the large payload capable B 1B Lancer, reaching speeds of about 900 miles per hour, or Mach 1.2. The Air Force believes an FB-22 will reach speeds as high as Mach 1.8, or close to 1,400 miles per hour, making it well suited for quick strikes when time is of the essence. Dot. The F-15E Strike Eagle, which entered service in 1988, is capable of speeds up to Mach 2.5 at altitude, but offers a combat radius similar to that of many fighter aircraft. At less than 700 miles. Turn the Fighter King into a bomber. While fifth-generation stealth fighters like the F-22 Raptor represent a significant jump in capabilities over non-stealth fourth-generation fighters like the F-15, the process switching to stealth mode comes with many challenges. While the F-15 can carry more than 16,000 pounds of bombs and missiles scattered across 11 external pylons, its successor the F-22 is forced to carry all weapons inside, so as not to compromise the stealth design it's. That leaves the Raptor with two AIM-9 infrared tracking air-to-air -air missiles in the secondary weapons bay and six AIM-120 radar-guided weapons in the main compartment for air superiority missions. In the ground attack role, however, her payload was limited to two 1,000-pound JDAM GBU-32s for striking targets on the deck below, along with two AIM-9s and two AIMs. Minus 120 for any air debris along the way. To solve that problem, Lockheed Martin designed a larger Raptor. First, they stretched the fuselage of the FB-22 to add a station for a second crew member, who could not only act as a navigator but also take on shift flying responsibilities during long-duration missions. Dot. Surprisingly, this requires very little change to the overall design. Had an FB-22 entered service, perhaps the Navy could have incorporated it into its own Sea Raptor concept hoping to put the King or the Airman on American aircraft carriers. If that happens, its 1,800-mile combat radius would eliminate the Navy's current fighter-ranged quagmire, as it would have the pins needed to strike Chinese targets without the need for it. Bringing aircraft carriers within range of China's hypersonic anti-ship missile systems. Of course, that's a lot of will, can, should statements, and it's hard to say if that's even possible. 